Hey guys, welcome back to another Peaceful Challenge episode. Today we start in single player creative because I just want to show you the location for our new main storage again. So this is the island. The plan was to build the main storage inside of the mountain and then have a couple of farms around partially even underwater. So maybe a little bit of underwater city, maybe something above. We'll see what we can fit in here. All right, so digging is always an issue in Peaceful because we don't have any haste beacon, can't get haste to at all so we can use the conduit but it's not enough to insta mine stone so this time we thought there must be a way around digging a very really large hole and we saw tnt duping could be the answer so the plan was to build a tnt duper let a lot of tnt drop down on top of an obsidian block and hopefully the tnt will propel other tnt around and create a nice large hole all right we yeah, set everything up let's check it out in survival Mm. This is pillar up to you guys. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yep. Okay. Let's go. It goes. We need to turn off this medic. Okay. I'm gonna use free cam to see this. Oh, I need to turn on the sounds slower. Flim makes a nice hole. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I guess let's finish the second one. That this will run. I need to get the corners for the second one. Should we just leave this running? It, it's, it seems yeah. like more and more is taking out. Yeah. Plus, uh, randomly get shot around. Okay. Small oh, promise is that there's water now leaking in from, from the side. Oh. A lot of water or only a little bit? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah we should. Should it stop it and fix mm. it. Mm. Let's start this one first. <laughs> no. Well, actually, the holes will connect. Let's fix the mm. other one first. Here it is. That's invisible. But... Mm. Yes. Oh, not the cells. Oh. Should I, should I run and get uh, some money <laughs> to buy this not the cells? For another country. For conduit? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh, where mm -hmm. is the crystal? Uh, are you turning it off, my girl? Or should, should I? Should I? The duper? I have some scaffolding. Mm. Turn off the duper, yeah. I can scaffold up. Oh, okay. That even made a hole up here. Just not. What's the plan? Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's check one last time. Wall looks good. Yep. Wanna start it? Okay. Why is drop shoot? Did I hide the testers and sometimes they shot back up? No, I <laughs> I used that height the first time and that seemed kind of good. <laughs> okay. I the could have built this lower bit. even. Yeah, probably. Mm. Question would be if it actually would have been... Uh... Okay, let's turn the other one on as well. Yep. On it. That goes. Beautiful. Okay. Wait, they can just jump down into the TNT. 
Pierce. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh I get shot around. <laughs> oh, that's actually fun. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the Oops, mm. I got shot around by the deepers. Watch fall damage. Do you drop, it, drop into it. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that's, oh. that's great. <laughs> Just the landing you need to watch out for. Oh gold. I'd say using TNT dubers like that is definitely a lot less work than digging without Instamine. So this was definitely a success. Now, next step is pulling the main storage, obviously. So we got another time lapse for that. Okay, back from the time lapse. So this still is a bit work in progress, but the main storage is already functional. Now I can also try to explain a little bit how it works. So Cadenda actually suggested to build this particular storage. It was designed by Rep Scallion. You can also find a link in the description where he also explains it in a bit more detail, but also try to sum it up. So yeah, when Cadenda suggested this, he actually said he had a multi-item storage system and at first I thought it would be one of those storages where you fill every single slot in a double chest for a certain item and then a system in the back would try to fill up those chests. Items can go in, would go in there and items they can't would yeah, go to the next chest and, and would try it again. And I was never a really big fan of those storage systems so that's why I was really skeptical at first 
Um, yeah, the good news is this actually works different. So instead of having to fill all the chests, which is a ton of work, you have actually a multi-item filter here at the top. So there's a double chest that has different items in it, and it can filter all of those items into a single, basically, yeah, group of chests. So here we have five double chests and a couple of hoppers that are also accessible that contain redstone items because the filters at the top configured it that way. Next would be our slime stone chest. So we got honey blocks, observers, um, all slime balls, etc. in there. The next rails, oak items and sticks, jungle, birch, etc. here on the other side. Let me take a look at other stuff, feathers, bricks, everything else. Right, um, let's actually explain how it works here at the top a little bit. So we basically get items trickling through the chain of hoppers there. And if there's an item in the hopper below the chest, let's say there's a redstone in there, then it would actually transfer that down because here this is not completely filled up. And then the hopper would be able to suck out an item out of the chest here at the top. So let's say redstone dust and suck out one. And then there's still one left. That's why we also have two items in there. And yeah, then it would basically trickle through. Basically, the filter configured the whole system and all the redstone dust items would trickle through, go into the chest there at the bottom. There's also yeah, a couple other things uh, uh, important for this. So this whole system works at almost hopper speed. Uh, every time it would switch to a different item, it needs a little bit of rest in between because it's just the way the, yeah, the system works. So that's why at the beginning we actually have a defragmentation system. So we put in the items in there and it takes out all the items of the same item type. So we basically get batches of items of the same group and those can be processed at hopper speed. So basically a programming system basically checks if there's a match and then all the items of that type trickle through. And also at the end it would put in uh, one of the items back. So there's a little dropper elevator here that puts the item back at the end. Items that don't match the filter would go to the next chest. So here we've got the slimestone items, etc. So uh, yeah, tries to go through the whole system, searching for batches in case uh, the chests are already filled up. So all the five double chests. The bottom, then there's an overflow. And also in case we haven't configured the filters yet, the rest of the items would go in here. So this would be the overflow in case all the chests are filled up. And those are items that yeah, haven't been put into the filter. There's some leftover items here, which we didn't get too of. But we already spent, or mostly Kedenda, spent a significant amount of time configuring those filters. Yeah, with <laughs> 116 adding e more items and everything was going on from open 13 onwards. I think the amount of items almost doubled. Yeah, making storages gets crazier and crazier every version. But this is actually a pretty good approach, I would say. First, I was skeptical of the multi-item sorters, but this is actually perfect for single-player world. Or, yeah, for us, as a maybe starter storage system. But I think this could also work out really well for the long run. The only downside is that, well, we only have those five double chests of storage. For example, if you get ten double chests of cobble because we were digging out something or brought over something from farm, then we have an issue. That's why in the future we want to expand this and add a second wing with chests over here where we have a little bit of a bulk storage. So unfortunately we won't be able to get a really large amount of Schalke shells because we won't dupe Schalke shells. Uh, so we basically are stuck to double chest storage. Schalke, uh, Schalke boxes will only be used as a backpack, so we probably have them on us and the inner chest and so on. We won't be able to use it for storage because we on Jupyter and Mojang doesn't want to make it renewable. So we're kind of sticking to it here. There's technically a way to dupe it, but we won't use it. Let's also try it out. So I cleared the first row of items here in redstone and slimestone, and I took out redstone dust and honey. Let's go up there and put it into the system. So this is still work in progress. We still have to climb up the scaffolding and access those chests here, but we will definitely make some kind of input here at the bottom and, and some elevator eventually. Right, I'm just gonna put in those items here. Now basically it runs through the 
defragmentation system, so only one item type will be sent over, so the redstone first in that case. We cannot... Actually, the honey. <laughs> What's the honey this time? So it goes through the system, and... Yeah, it's pretty hard to access. Let's maybe just go to the chest down there so we can see it incoming. But I probably actually put it into the other slots. I've got this already honey in there. No, actually, yeah. First slot, got the 16 honey. And redstone is already there. Perfect, so it works. Um, what we also added was a chunk loading system. So I can also show that. It is a, yeah, every time the system is running, got a little redstone line here in the back. Turning on portal chunk loading system. Cadenda and Panic are building this. Actually, I haven't checked the redstone yet. Let's check it out. Okay. Seems like this is directly hooked up to this. Yeah, so basically, we sent minecart through the portal and that put basically keep the overworld chunks loaded, to complete main storage. So we can put our items in there and leave the area. We don't need to worry about this. Just thinking somewhere they probably added pulse lengthener. Where's that? This should definitely be lengthened by about five minutes to keep this running. Oh yeah, it's this system here. Okay, yeah, it's actually one of my designs. All right, this will probably just keep this running for, for like 10 minutes or so. Um, so because sometimes it takes quite a while until all the items will trickle through the system and end up here at the last chest or in the overflow. Okay, then future plans. So at the moment, we still can't sort non-stackable items. There's a way, for example, now since I think 1.14 or 1.15, not the exact version anymore, to sort armor, uh, we can sort boats, we can sort minecarts with some non-stackable item filters. We can maybe add it on this side here. It's also a complex system, this would be quite fun to design. So that is planned. And yeah, one of the uh, expansions we already did here in the back was link this up to the starter island with the ice boat. So this is now also hooked up. You can jump down and this would actually connect to the frost ice road we made with the tunnel bore. Here we put down some blue ice. Doesn't look that great, but yeah, there's a quick travel way now also through the old world back to the starter island. It's mostly because we can, it was fun to build the machine. Uh, here we also go directly into the bubble elevator, go up here and we're at the main storage. All right, so from now on we keep working on this area. Here's also now a way out to the ocean, for example. There's also now a conduit, so we can breathe underwater and we'll just keep adding to this area and have something like a base. So furnace array is definitely planned at the main storage. Um, then uh, blast chamber would be nice, tree farm, cobble farm, basalt farm. So some block farms will be added. Definitely have a lot of plans for this area, but nothing that is really lagging the area while it's not running. So no animal farms, for example. But yeah, also smaller farms could be added. Really looking forward to this. So we finally have a way to organize our items a little bit better and even automatically. The situation at the village got really frustrating. We just had boxes on the outside of the houses. Uh, we still have also a lot of items still scattered around the world at building sites. We'll also keep bringing those over and put it into the main storage. But yeah, this is already a great start. It's going to be so much more convenient for the future. That's it for today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.